Hey, welcome back to Garden Rose. My name is Mary and it's been a minute since I've shared anything, but with the new year, I'm ready to dive right back in and get my life a little bit more organized, get ready for the garden, finish up some of the food that I took out last year. I still have a freezer full of tomatoes. I still have potatoes. I still have some chopped up peppers that I want to turn into cowboy candy. So I've got some projects that I've been thinking about and I'm finally feeling ready to get back into them. Just with the craziness that the end of the year and the holiday season brings, I kind of got out of the swing of things, but I'm back in my routine and I'm ready. So something that I actually wanted to try out this year is the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge. So I am newer to YouTube in general, but I'm also newer to a lot of the channels that I've been watching. I've been watching a few favorites for maybe a year and a half now, and a lot of the people that I watch do the Pantry Challenge, and it's super inspiring to me. I'm in a position now where I have a freezer full of stuff a pantry full of stuff and a fridge of things that are going bad if I don't use them soon. So I thought this was the perfect time to go ahead and try it out. What I like about the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge is that Jessica doesn't really make a bunch of rules that you have to follow. It's kind of come as you are and take what you want out of it. So we can set our own rules and we can kind of figure out what this means for us. So I want to sit down and kind of figure out what this pantry challenge is going to look like for me. But first, I think I need to kind of take a peek at where we're starting out. Um, this just popped right back up to my attention, you know, yesterday when I finally got back into watching YouTube videos. And I was like, oh yeah, the pantry challenge, like, let's try it. Um, so it's January 3rd. So I'm not starting right on January 1st, but that's okay. And I also haven't done a ton of prep. So I know everybody does it different. Sometimes people kind of expect that they're not gonna go to the grocery store for two months. So they might stock up on certain things like coffee. This is all I have. So, I mean, we're not gonna go, this is actually a pretty decent amount for me and just my husband, but um, you know, certain things I'm probably gonna have to restock on. But I do think that I'm just going to be flexible and maybe set just a smaller grocery budget and still go shopping, but not get a bunch of things that I don't need. I always fall into that trap where I'll, you know, be walking through the grocery store and think of something that sounds really good and get the ingredients and then come home and forget what I was going to do with them or it just kind of gets pushed to the back and I forget about it. So I don't want to do that. Um, but I do want to just be more intentional about my grocery store trips and focus some meals on what I have here and just get whatever I don't have from the grocery store. Like if there's an ingredient missing or things like that, but really primarily eating out of my pantry and out of my freezer. Um, this was my first year of canning and gardening in general this past year. So I don't have a ton of canned things stocked up on my shelves. I'll show you when we go down there. So I'm not feeling a strong urge to get through everything. I still want to leave some canned goods um, on the shelf and kind of feel good that I have something for just like a quick meal if I don't have any inspiration that day or if I can't think of what I want. It's been nice to pull something off the shelf for those things. So I don't want to just like eat through everything, but um, the freezer I can definitely empty out. I have some, you know, pre-made meals in there that I just forget to take out in time for dinner. So I want to be more intentional about that. I know I have some beef left from the cow that we went in with friends on. And I know I have a rack of ribs, so I mean, we'll be eating good, but I just have to get through these things. Um, so I guess backtracking, if you're not familiar, the Three Rivers Homestead Ch Pantry Challenge is put on by Three Rivers Homestead, Jessica and her family. Um, they've been doing it for a long time and every year they go January and February um, without going to the grocery store or at least going limited. Um, and really just focusing on the food that they have in their pantry to 
kind of sustain them throughout those two months. The idea is that, you know, we just went through the holiday season. We have all this stuff from the garden. Um, so saving money where we can to not go grocery shopping as much and um, just eat through those things that might be, you know, coming up to a date that, you know, some people have these pantries that, you know, have like multiple years worth of things there. So I'm not necessarily in that position and I'm not worried about things going bad per se, except for the stuff in my fridge. But, um, you know, people do this for many different reasons and it's really cool to see what everyone's doing and how they interpret it and what it means to them. So definitely go check out other pantry challenge videos, but this over here on my channel is going to be more of a beginner dive into the pantry challenge. Um, not working with as much, probably. I'm not starting with as much, probably. So who knows what it's gonna look like, but I hope you follow along. I'm gonna give you a little glimpse into what I have to start and we can see how long that lasts us. Um, what it looks like towards the end. I'm not even really setting an end date because I don't know, you know, technically it can go from January to February, the end of February. Um, I don't know if I have enough to go two months. I don't even know if I have enough to go one month. So like I said, I might just be like setting a small budget each week for groceries and just working with that and seeing how long I can go, seeing how long this motivation will carry. Maybe towards the end of January, I'll be ready to be done with it and just start new. But we'll see. I don't know. It's a lot of unknowns. So hopefully you just join the journey with me. And if you're feeling in a similar position where you're like, hmm, I have some stuff in the freezer. Let's see what we can do. Um, join me. We'll be beginners in the pantry challenge together. So yeah, I will link down to Jessica's video below too. So you can see where it all started and see the main inspiration behind all of this. But let's take a glimpse at what we're working with and be kind, because it's not all pretty. <laughs> all right, so here's the fridge. Um, just a few things to highlight in here. A lot of condiments, a lot of syrup, and jams and jellies that I made when I first started getting into preserving. Um, lots of veggies here that hopefully last a good amount of time, and some fruit cups, random things like that. I do actually have a good amount of dairy on hand. I have another half gallon of milk behind there and cheese, um, cottage cheese, sour cream. I weirdly have half and half and heavy whipping cream, which I usually never have. So maybe I'll do something with those and just some random odds and ends. Now down into the freezer. This is some of the stuff that I'll just grab. There's like a breakfast burrito. There's some frozen fruit. There's some frozen jam. There's a pound of meat right there. So just random things. But the main stuff is in the freezer in the basement. So here's the pantry. I have some cereal, some um, pasta, a lot of nuts, uh, peanut butter. Here's seasoning. And up top is baking. But just some random things. And down below, I have a lot of snacks and chips from holiday parties and get togethers. We usually don't have these, but it works out well that we have them now. And here's my favorite spot in the house, everything I've canned so far. So I just have random things here and there, like some jellies and um, pickles, tomato sauce will probably be the main things that I use. All right, so this is the one where we're working with a little bit more and we actually might make it further than I would hope. So I do have a lot of pre-made soups, um, ham bone soup from the holidays and some chicken tortellini soup. I have pre-made meals that I just actually took one out for dinner tonight. I just made those actually not too long ago, so they're not too old. Um, just in preparation for the holiday season because I know things can get really busy. So I'm glad that I have those now, but only I think three or four of those. And then more soup. This is lentil soup. I have some pasties that I made, homemade. Um, my family came over and we made pasties together. So I've got a couple of these left. Oh, actually, I have a ton of those left. I have more bags of them. So there might be like seven pasties. Um, bread. 
a lot of vegetables like zucchini and carrots and potatoes shredded up from gardening, so that's good. Lots of salsa and like enchilada sauce that I made with the tomatoes that came out of the garden. Zucchini muffins. Bratwurst, who knew? Oh my gosh, this is the best tomato soup ever, ever. I'm so excited, I forgot I had this. I can't take all this stuff out or I'm going to get frostbite, but down here I have maybe, let's see how many ones. Maybe seven or eight pounds of ground beef. And then I know I have ribs under here. Okay, so I'm doing the other side now. So another meal, I've got beef stroganoff and I actually have egg noodles, which I really like to eat this with upstairs in the pantry too. So that'll be a nice meal. Vegetables. Some gluten-free buns that I'm not, I'm not planning on eating unless we have to because these are for a gluten-free family member. There we go. So we got the ribs. A birthday cake. <laughs> There's more of the pasties. Here are the tomatoes that I'd like to hopefully do something with over the next month. So maybe that's another goal of mine. Some salmon. Diced up hot peppers that I want to turn into cowboy candy. And then you can see the rest in there. So that is the beef that I was talking about. So yeah, some steaks. Some steaks. And then all in here, I have a bunch of corn that I got from a farmer's market and froze and then some pureed pumpkin and some pumpkin cubes. So not sure that we will get into a ton of that. Definitely the corn. I'm not sure about the pumpkin yet, but we have that there. Okay, so I know that was kind of all over the place, but hopefully you get a picture now of what we're starting with and why I wanna do this. I don't even know what's in that freezer. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I find something new. So that's pretty fun. But I took out a pizza pasta casserole for dinner tonight. So that'll be dinner. Um, for breakfast, I did a smoothie. I have, I don't know if you noticed, a lot of bananas in this freezer. I tend to buy bananas and then we don't go through them as fast. And as soon as they start to go bad, I'll just throw them in the freezer. So I have a lot of bananas in there that I can work on, you know, some smoothies. I have some milk and those acai packets that I got a while ago from, I think, Sam's Club. And I never tried them. So I'm excited to have those this week for breakfast, just like some smoothies, get rid of some of that stuff, go through those bananas. Maybe I'll make some banana bread. I don't know. The, the options are limitless. I just have to be creative and think about how I want to go about this and, and what I want to do. Um, so yeah, that's what we're starting out with. All right, so we need to figure out what this means, <laughs> what, what I want to do with the pantry challenge. So I'm going to write down just a few goals that I can refer back to look at when I'm not feeling so motivated and maybe just set some kind of guardrails around this. Um, like I've mentioned, I just kind of want to try it out. I'm just going to be 
pretty loosey-goosey with my rules and not really set anything too strict. I'm not going to avoid the grocery store. I don't think that's going to be possible this year. Maybe next year I can dive a little bit deeper into it and really try that out. But for this year, I think I want to set the goal around, you know, having the main main dish come from the freezer or pantry. Um, and I think maybe the grocery budget per week can equal I don't know, it's hard to say because I don't even really, I just go to the grocery store when we need things. I don't have like a typical, like Sunday's grocery day. Like I don't have that much of a rigid schedule. So I don't know how often even I really go. I probably only go like once a week, but I can't say that definitively. So I know I spend a lot <laughs> when I go. I think each shopping trip is maybe like, $200 and that's with you know like other toiletries um, random things that I probably don't need I did just get some toilet paper so I know that we're good there and I have a lot of cleaning supplies I know we're good there I think we're all good with like shower things and bathroom things um, we did just get toothpaste, so I know we're good there. So I think I think this is actually going to be kind of doable and kind of fun to see how well we can do. So maybe I'll just set it for like 75. Maybe 75 can be my weekly grocery budget. But I'm going to try to stay lower than that. Like 75 is the max, but I want to see the the smallest amount of money that I can spend with the like one-off ingredient. I might not even need to go with just like one-off things. If I really want to make something work and we don't have like an ingredient, I wanna just give, a, give us some leeway in that, in that instance. I don't know, we're, we're just gonna see what this is. I might be completely off and this might be completely unrealistic, but I don't know until we try it. So like I said, we're just beginners trying this out and seeing what we can do with it. So I'm excited. I think it's going to be really fun. I think we're going to be able to go through a good amount of the food. And maybe that's a silly thing. Maybe I should let these freezer meals, you know, sit in the freezer a little bit longer since I just made them, you know, a few months ago. Maybe they can still be there. But it's just kind of a fun challenge to take on and see how much money we can possibly save by not needing to go shopping. All right, so that's this video, my introduction into the pantry challenge and kind of planning it out, figuring out what we're gonna do. Um, I'm really excited because we don't have a ton of plans in January and February, so we can spend more time at home figuring this out and it's a little bit more predictable. But that can also be a downfall because when we have plans, we tend to get fed or get dinner and you know go out and things like that. So it's gonna be up to what we have, what you've seen to feed us. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know, I'm, I'm eager to see how this goes. So hopefully I'm a little bit more experienced at the end of this and can figure out um, you know, how to better use what I have in my house. I think that's really what I want to get out of this. And that's probably what I should write down. It's just to broaden my horizons, not get stuck in the same rut of the same meals that we tend to stick to and using some of the ingredients that we have here and some of the things I have to, um, try, try new things, use things in new ways, use enchilada sauce in different ways rather than just enchiladas, like things like that. I need to broaden my horizons and kind of get more creative. That's what I really want to take away from this. And hopefully you follow along and we can get some ideas from each other. And, you know, feel free to comment anything that you have um, done in the past or any new ways you've tried things. I'd love to hear, especially if it's something that I have, that would be great. But um, yeah, after this, I will post weekly videos with some of the meals that I'm making and just hang on, tag along, follow along with what, what we can do with this pantry challenge. 
Thanks for checking this out and hopefully you stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see the rest of this month, what it brings and what we can do with what you've just seen, which is what it is. So, <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thanks again for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next one.